Now let us see Lucas test. I have already discussed with you in the previous classes. Once again we are going to see. What is Lucas reagent? Anhydrous zinc chloride with concentrated HCl is called as Lucas reagent. Now how it is reacting with primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol? With primary alcohol, see in all the cases, it's basically alcohol with HCl and this is acting as a catalyst or it is acting as a dehydrating agent you can say, right? So when you react it with HCl, what will happen? This OH will be replaced by Cl. So you will get the corresponding Rx. Same way OH is replaced by Cl. Same way OH is replaced by C. Okay. Now in the tertiary alcohol, you will get turbidity immediately. Turbidity means what? Cloudiness. Okay. There is cloudiness in the test tube. That is called as turbidity. And in the case of secondary alcohol, turbidity appears but after 5 minutes. Here it appears immediately. Then in the case of primary alcohol, no turbidity appears at a room temperature, but it appears on heating. So we are conducting the test at room temperature, right? Okay. Now, come to the next one, that is esterification. First one was iodoform test, then Lucas test, and then esterification. What is esterification? Alcohol and acid react in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. When you boil them, boil the mixture, you will get a fruity ester smell. That is called as esterification. Now, how this ester is formed? See, alcohol may say hydrogen and acid may say OH. These two get out in the form of water. This is a dehydrating agent. It will remove water and what you get is an ester. How is that ester formed? CH3, CO. O C2H5. So it is the COO which is the ester group. Is that clear? This is the ester group. Right? Okay. Now let us see a few more distinguishing tests. Supposing I am asking you to distinguish between methanol and ethanol. Ethanol gives LOPPT of iodoform with sodium hydroxide and iodine. It is not enough if you simply write gives yellow PPT in iodoform test. You have to write what are the reagents added. If you don't write NaOH and iodine, then your answer has no value. So gives yellow PPT of iodoform with NaOH and iodine. It's even better if you write the formula of iodoform by the side. Right? Whereas methanol does not show any reaction. It does not give iodoform test. Now, supposing you have, see this is ethanol, this is propanol. I told you primary alcohols may say sirf ethanol dega or koi bhi primary alcohol nahi dega. So this will give LOPPT of iodoform with sodium hydroxide and iodine whereas propanol does not show any reaction. Same way, if you are asked to distinguish between propanol and propen to all, propanol does not give, I told you only ethanol will give, so no reaction. And propen to all gives LOPPT of iodoform with NaOH and iodine because it is having this group. I told you functional carbon ke saath agar CH3 attached there, it will give iodoform test. Then you have tertiary alcohol and a secondary alcohol, right? Now, Secondary alcohol gives turbidity with Lucas reagent after 5 minutes, whereas a tertiary alcohol gives turbidity immediately with Lucas reagent. Okay, it's good if you write Lucas reagent and if you write concentrated HCl and zinc chloride along with that, it is all the more better. Then, this CH3 CHOH functional carbon ke saath CH3 attached. Hai. So, this will give iodoform test. So, gives LOBPT of iodoform with NaOH and iodine whereas this will not show any reaction okay so these are a few examples for distinguishing tests we will see more and more 